I'm Christopher Penzak, one of the co-founders of the Temple of Witchcraft. And um, you're here at the, the 25th annual St. Louis Pagan Picnic? Yes, I am. Very excited to be here. And are you enjoying the, the event? So far, so good. It hasn't rained on us yet, so we're good. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been a lot of fun. It's really great people, really good music, really good spirit of community. I'm here at the Temple of Witchcraft. They do a booth every year, and it's been a lot of fun. We are a nonprofit organization and also a tradition of magical training. So we have a mystery school of five degrees. The first four are based on the first four elements and each have a different central mystery to them. And the fifth is our seminary and training to be a minister and high priest or high priestess. Um, we do a lot of outreach with the community. We have 12 different ministries and each ministry has an outreach to the greater community and outreach to the witchcraft community and um, mystical secrets to it. Um, and so we just really tried to create a community that has a place for everybody if they should want to serve. Because I know not everybody necessarily wants to lead covens or um, be formal priests or priestesses and doing rituals publicly full time. So but we really wanted to create a space where people could come together and serve in other ministries as well. My root tradition is the Cabot tradition of witchcraft. My first serious teacher, I had some mentors before that, but my first serious teacher they introduced me to is Lori Cabot. Um, and so I studied the first, few, first two degrees with Lori Cabot in the early 90s. And then I kind of um, wandered quite a bit for a while. And then after I had a little bit of my own path fleshed out and I was writing books and doing things, Lori had a different store, shop at that time down in Pickering Wharf in Salem. And she invited me to come to a book signing where we kind of reconnected and she invited me to start teaching there. And um, she invited me to finish up the third degree. And uh, I didn't want it to be an honorary thing in any way, shape or form, So, but I couldn't come to all the classes. So I'm like, give me the syllabus that's gonna meet regularly and let me go through all the work on my own. And uh, I ended up getting initiated soon after that for the high priest of the Cabot tradition. And she She's been incredibly encouraging about all the stuff we're doing in the Temple of Witchcraft, so it's nice to have like a little sister group that's carrying on some of her mission, but in a little bit of a different way. Ma Madam Cabot has definitely a place in, in history. Absolutely. <laughs> How would you describe her legacy? Um, I think it's interesting because she, she has so many facets to it. I think on one level she's got the religious, she establishes this nonprofit, and she really is about um, keeping people who are being discriminated for being witches or being pagan or being other in some way um, with the governments and with institutions and rules and really doing that outreach as an advocate. Um, and she's really about the magical side of things and really living a magical life. And then she's really about the outreach through the, the kind of, I hate to say the commercialization in Salem, but it's the same idea of for many of us, the first time we were introduced to any of this was a store. So she really looks at shops as like public service work as the place to find the village witch. You know, before you'd go to the edge of the village and you'd be able to find somebody, well, we don't have the edge of the village anymore. So where do you go? You go to a place that has an occult shop, a witchcraft shop, and you get to talk to an actual witch and get your, your questions and problems answered and leave with a potion or leave with a reading or leave with a spell of some sort. So I feel like for her, that's really the public service, although I think a lot of people think of it as really the shopping aspect of it. So I see her having those three points of a legacy. You know, it's that that kind of advocacy, though, you know, women's rights, witchcraft rights, environmental work. She's got the education and the living the magical life, and then it's that outreach to the greater public who might not be exposed to witchcraft. And in many ways, I try to, I might not be as emphasized on the retail side of things, but, you know, through the books is a way that I outreach, and, you know, much like she did. But I'm really about that social service and living the magical life. And it's been good to kind of have the encouragement to continue that. Well, that kind of, kind of goes to my next question. <laughs> Although, although you're, you're a little young for the question, I'm, I'm sure you'll appreciate my saying. Okay. <laughs> what, what would you hope to see for your own legacy? Um, I really want to establish something that will outlast me. The big point of establishing the temple, not just as a tradition, but as a nonprofit, was to have the transparency and the oversight that other people could be involved. I think sometimes when someone's an author and they have a big personality and they're out there a lot, sometimes it's seen as theirs. So I'm constantly trying to advocate the Temple of Witchcraft is ours. So it's not just about any one person, it should outlive any one person. So I want to have it rooted with land, I want to have it rooted with traditions, I want to have it rooted that it's a multi-person effort. That's why we have the 12 ministries, so we have a council of 12 people that guide it, it's not just me running it all, um, and really have something that, that outlasts. So all those things I talked about with Lori and more, I want it to continue, but I don't want to feel like I'm the only one doing it. I want it to feel that I'm supporting everybody in their own mission. And if I can do that, I think that'd be a pretty good legacy. Wonderful. Thank you. What is your next project? Oh, well, it's interesting bringing up all the stuff with Lori Cabot. I'm helping her with her memoirs, Ooh. which is an intense and slow project because there's a lot of life there and a lot of mysteries to kind of delve into and dissect and kind of order around. But that's that's been every month um, we have a little writing session together and trying to get that together. Um, and I'm also working on a book on Carriage 
And it's a very occultist, not a Celtic reconstructionist view of Caradwen. And ironically, for a goddess of inspiration, it's been my slowest book, which I think is a teacher in its own <laughs> self. <laughs> so she's really making me work for it, but it's been good. So if people would like to learn more about Temple of Witchcraft, where would you send them? The best place is templeofwitchcraft.org online. It has all our information and classes, both nationally and locally, because we're based in New Hampshire, but we've got teachers everywhere. Um, and to find out about my own personal stuff, christopherpenzac.com. And one last question. We live in interesting times. Uh, <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> in terms of, of the, we'll say the pagan community, although you know the pagan community is like a lot of little interconnecting communities, right. what would you hope to see for the future? Or maybe I should say what do you feel is most needed for the future? Hmm. For the overall pagan community needed for the future, I would like to see a deepening. Um, I think for a while we've done a lot that's been able to outreach, I don't want to say in a surface level, but a lot of times we've gone broad, not deep. Um, and I think each, I almost think of the pagan community as little cells within the body of something greater, but I think each cell, whatever it may be, however it identifies, needs to dig a bit deeper. I know a big part of why I'm doing the work in witchcraft, I'd like to see the witchcraft traditions deepen on a mystical level, and I'd like to see everybody, regardless of how they identify, deepen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Have a good pagan picnic.